Today, I'll be talking to you about the life cycle of a monarch butterfly. For the first stage of the monarch butterfly, in March and April, the eggs are laid on milkweed plants from an adult monarch butterfly. The eggs hatch into baby caterpillars, also known as larvae. It takes two days for the egg to hatch after it is laid. The larva do, does not do much rather than eat and sleep. Once the larva is fully grown into a monarch caterpillar, they find a place to attach themselves, usually on a milkweed plant. And then they can start the process of metamorphosis. It will attach itself to a stem or leaf using silk and transform into a chrysalis. The 10 day cycle might seem like nothing is happening on the outside, but there's actually lots of rapid changes within the chrysalis. The old body parts of the caterpillar are undergoing a remarkable transformation called metamorphosis to become the beautiful parts that make up a butterfly that will emerge. Once the monarch butterfly has fully grown, it will emerge from the chrysalis and fly away, feeding on flowers and just enjoying its short life it ha has left about two to six weeks. And this is how the generations work. The second generation of monarch butterflies will be born in May and June, and then the third generation will be born in July and August. These monarch butterflies will go through the exact same process the other ones went through, generation two and one. Dying two two to six weeks after it becomes a beautiful monarch butterfly that we all love. The first generation will fly all the way towards Mexico and it will lay its eggs for generation number two that will fly back. Unlike me many other migrating animals, these monarch butterflies will re not return home. And now, at this point, my mom, who's very interested in plants and saving the monarch butterflies, is going to show us the milkweed plants and where they lay their eggs. Okay, come on. I sure will. Okay, so we have a couple of areas where we have milkweed plants. Now, this is just in the back area that is not cleared. Not officially a part of the garden, but we have lots of milkweed plants here. And this is the milkweed plant. Wow. Okay, the milkweed plant is very, very important in saving the monarch populations. See all these holes here? It's because the monarch caterpillars have been feeding on the milkweed plant. Now, let's see if we can find any eggs. If we can't find any eggs, then we'll just go ahead and look for the... Oh, we, have, we didn't find any... Oh, yeah! There's one right here. See this right here? This little thing right here? That's actually a monarch butterfly egg. And here's a little monarch caterpillar right there. In this little corner here, there are lots of them. That's why I took you here. Now, down here, let's see, searching for monarch caterpillars. And yeah, here's another one right here. So the monarch likes the milkweed plant because the milkweed plant actually has this white milky substance in it that actually helps them to feed on the leaf. If I break, let me just make sure that I'll do one that's almost dead. A leaf that's almost dead. Oh, wow, that is why you have to be careful. See that little monarch caterpillar? And the hole right there, it's eating away. And that's why the hole is there. So, I want to find one. I don't want to break one. Okay, let's break one of the very young ones up here. Just to show you what I'm talking about with the milky substance. Okay, see that milky substance? It provides that moisture, that substance for the the butterflies or the caterpillars to feed on while they actually matures into a butterfly. I will show you the other day I saw here. See? Now this caterpillar is actually 
cocooned so it's in the process of transforming into a monarch butterfly you can see that cocoon there yeah so basically I would suggest to anybody who has anything that looks like this there are some other forms of milkweed too but if you have anything that looks like this in your garden please Take care of these plants and you will be taking care of the monarch population.